Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to count a radial pulse. Before we get started, let me go over some basic things before I show you the skill. Your radial pulse is the most common sight used when counting the pulse rate. The reason is, is because it's so easily accessible. It's right there on your wrist. Counting a pulse rate tells us a couple things. It tells us the rate, the heart rate of a patient, and it tells us the quality. So while you're feeling that pulse rate, make sure you're paying attention to how well it's pounding. For instance, is it weak or thready? Is it full and bounding? Is it normal or is it absent? Those are all very important details you need to know. So where is the radial pulse felt? It is found in the groove of the wrist on the thumb side. So right now with me, just feel with your two pads of your finger, your index and your middle finger, right there in the groove where your thumb is and you can feel the pulse. All you have to do is lightly feel it. Do not apply much pressure because if you do, you'll obstruct the, pu obstruct the pulse. And never use your thumb when assessing a pulse because your thumb has a heartbeat of itself and instead of feeling the patient's pulse, you'll be feeling your own pulse. Next, if a patient has been active, wait about five to 10 minutes before you take their pulse. That way they can get back down to baseline. Okay, some other tips when taking a pulse. Whenever you're taking the pulse, remember to assess if the pulse rate is regular or irregular because that will determine how long you will count the pul pulse for. If the rate is regular, you will count the pulse for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds you will take that number and you will multiply it by two and that will be your pulse rate. For instance, say you're feeling a per person's pulse and you counted for 30 seconds and within that 30 seconds you felt 30 pulsations, 30 beats. You would take 30 and multiply that by two, 30 times two is 60 and that's what their heart rate would be. Now, if the patient has an irregular heartbeat, you would have to count the pulse rate for one full minute to get the most accurate result. So now, let me demonstrate how to count a radial pulse. Okay, we have our patient and we've explained the procedure to him about what we're gonna do with counting his pulse rate. Whenever you have your patient, have them either sit down or lie down. Here, we have him sitting and what you wanna do is you wanna have the elbow bent at least 90 degrees and rest the hand on his thigh and you will take the two pads of your finger and you will fill in the groove of where his wrist is located, where the thumb is. You will fill in the grooves with just like I'm doing so. Notice I'm not using my thumb, I'm using my index finger and middle finger and I just have lightly pressed on where the radial artery is. And I will count each pulsation for 30 seconds. His pulse is regular so I can use the 30 second rule. If it is irregular, remember you have to do it for a minute. Okay, I've counted for 30 seconds and his heart rate, I got 32 and I multiply 32 by two and I got 64. After you take a patient's pulse, always be sure to tell them what it was and let them know what normal is, which normal is 60 to 100. So that is how you take a radial pulse. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out my other clinical skill videos and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.